Hello friends, thank you so very much once again for clicking to this video and studying along with me what saith the scripture. Today, I want to join along with you to study on this very important subject which is actually dividing the body of Christ, dividing the brethren. There is division in the churches. And the subject is, why did Paul say, follow me as I follow Christ? There is a lot of confusion because of these verses. There's a lot of division because of these verses. There's a lot of argument and debates about because of these verses. As God's children who love God's word and loves the Lord, you and I are supposed to search the scripture that we may walk according to the word of God. So today we will be looking in this study on the subject why Paul said follow me even as I follow Christ. Now we must understand Paul in fact said only twice to follow him. There's only two verses in the Pauline epistle where Paul is admonishing the church to follow him. But then when we look into many other scriptures, Paul himself is later on focusing his direction towards Christ. In the book of Matthew, five times Jesus said, follow me. In the gospel of Mark, Jesus said three times, follow me. In the gospel of Luke, Jesus said four times, follow me. And in the gospel of John, Jesus said five times, follow me. In 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse number 1, Apostle Paul says, Be you followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. Apostle Paul is saying, see, I am following Christ. So you also follow Christ like me. Now you must understand, why is Apostle Paul writing to the Corinthian church or to the church in Philippines and saying to them to follow him? follow Paul. We need to know that the Bible was not complete at all. The Corinthian church or the church in Philippine, uh, Philippi, they had no Bible completely. All they had was apostles. All they had was Apostle Paul. And uh, they had the others, other apostles who would come and visit them and teach them the word of God. So they did not have the complete Bible. The Bible was being written. And so because of these, they needed to know something about Jesus. Because most of them had no idea about Jesus Christ. They just heard the gospel. They just know the gospel now. And now Apostle Paul and the others would teach them more about the Lord Jesus Christ and Christian life. And because the Bible was not complete, and because the Bible was incomplete at that time, and the, because the Bible was being written at that time, the early Christians needed some final authority. And before the Bible, the only final authority that functioned was the apostles. And that's one of the reasons why Paul is telling to these Christians, see, I know Christ and Christ has taught me and you have nobody now to teach, so you follow me as I follow Christ because you don't have the Bible because the Bible is still incomplete because the Bible is being written because there's a day that is going to come when the perfect is come then that which is in part shall be done away so my dear friends in Philippians chapter 3 verse number 17 brethren be followers together of me and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an example so two plays apostle Paul tells in first in Corinthians and second is to the Philippians. He tells them to follow. Just two places. Why? The Bible is not complete. These people don't have the complete Bible. The Bible is being written. They have things in part. In first Thessalonians chapter 1 verse number 6. Now Apostle Paul is moving people's, the Christians focus from him to others now. 
First Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 6, he says, And ye became followers of us, not me, of us, and of the Lord, having received the word in much affliction with joy of the Holy Ghost. In the second Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 7, For yourselves know how ye ought to follow us, for we behave not ourselves disorderly among you. You see, as Paul Apostle Paul is, you know, moving, he moves from me to us. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 9, Not because we have not power, but to make ourselves an example unto you to follow us. Alright? Then Paul writes to Timothy, and now Apostle Paul, you see the Bible is now getting written. The Bible is getting completed slowly. We are getting more and more books in the New Testament. So in 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 11, Apostle Paul writes to Timothy, But thou, O man of God, flee these things and follow after righteousness. Now he's not telling follow me or follow us. Now he's saying follow after righteousness. The Bible slowly, book by book, is now coming into the hands of Christians. Follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 22. Flee also youthful lust, but follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace, with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Now, we need to ask our question. Follow righteousness? Who is our righteousness, dear friends? Apostle Paul writes in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse number 13 and 31. But of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God is made unto us, Jesus is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, that according as it is written, he that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. So Apostle Paul is now writing to Timothy to follow after righteousness and the question is who is our righteousness and Paul himself explains that Jesus Christ is our righteousness Jesus Christ is our wisdom Jesus Christ is our sanctification Jesus Christ is our redemption and so we need to glory in the Lord Jesus Christ Jesus himself said blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness for they shall be Failed. We need to hunger and thirst. We need to follow after righteousness. And it is the Lord Jesus Christ. Paul in fact, Apostle Paul in fact was rebuking the cultic, um, the Pauline cultism. There were some group of people, they were making Apostle Paul like a cult leader. And uh, they were, some of them were saying, no, we are of Apostle Paul. And some said, we are of Apollos. And we said, some said, we are of Peter and Cephas. And Paul rebukes against Pauline cultism even during those days. In 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse number 1 through 9, 5 would read, And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but unto, as unto cardinal, even as unto babes in Christ. It is only babes. Who are not growing, only drinking milk, are the ones who are fighting unnecessarily. I am of this, I am that, I am this and that. And these Corinthian Christians were doing that. I am of Paul, I am of Peter. And that is sadly is even happening now. Verse number 2 of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 says, I have fed you with milk and not with meat. For hitherto ye were not able to bear it, neither yet now. Are we able? For ye are yet carnal, for whereas there is among you envying and strife and divisions, are ye not carnal and walk as men? For while one saith, I am of Paul, and another, I am of Apollos, are ye not carnal? Who then is Paul? And who is Apollos? But ministers by whom he believed, even as the Lord gave to every man. See how what Paul is speaking about? Paul is saying, stop these things. I am Pauline only. I am Peter only. No, we are Christ only. We need Jesus Christ. We need to follow Christ. Apostle Paul was an example to us. When these Christians did not have the Bible, they needed somebody to teach them and to follow 
and when the Bible was near, not written, the apostles were the final authority. And that's why Apostle Paul is writing to follow him. But then as the Bible is being written, Paul is speaking about following us and then follow righteousness, following Christ. Who then is Paul and who is Apollos but ministers by whom we believe, even as the Lord gave to every man. I have planted Apollos water, but God gave the increase. So that neither is he that planted anything, neither he that watereth, but God giveth the increase. Now he that planted and he that watereth are one, and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. For we are laborers together with God, and ye are God's husbandry, ye are God's building. My dear friends, if you just hold on to only the 13 epistles of Apostle Paul, you will be only drinking milk and fighting and causing divisions in the church. That is sad. And that is what hyper-dispensationalism is doing. Exalting Paul to the level of God. Like the Roman Catholics would exalt Mary to the level of God. Like the oneness Pentecostalism will exalt Peter to the level of God. And that is very, very sick. That is bad. That is evil. Look, Paul tells us how we can be matured. How can we be matured? How to move from milk to meat. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 11. And he gave some apostles. Who is writing? Apostle Paul is writing. He's not saying I'm the only one for you. Jesus gave apostles, plural. And some prophets. And some evangelists. And some pastors and teachers. Why? For the perfecting of the saints. For the work of the ministry. For the edifying of the body of Christ. The church is the body of Christ. And so we, we don't have to settle only with Paul. Then you will only be a baby Christian with milk. We need all the apostles, all the prophets, all the teachers, and all the pastors, all the evangelists. Till we all come in the unity of faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of stretcher of the fullness of Christ. That we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunningness, cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. But we speaking truth in love, we speaking the truth in love, may grow up into him in all things which is the head, even Christ. Should we follow Paul? Yes. Should we follow Peter? Absolutely yes. Should we follow James, John? Absolutely yes. Should we follow the New Testament? Yes. Should we follow the Old Testament? Absolutely yes. Everything is not written for to us, but it's all written for us. And that's why we need to make clear distinction between Jew, Gentile and the church. And more about rightly dividing is rightly applying the truth in the right place. Yes, dear friends, follow after righteousness. Follow Paul, follow Peter, follow James and John, follow the Old Testament, follow the New Testament. Ultimately, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. And that is the Lord Jesus Christ. You and I, now we have the complete Bible. Now we have the whole thing. The absolute tr truth. The perfect law of liberty. They did not have that. That's why they had to follow a particular apostle. But now we have the whole truth. But when that which is perfect is come, then those things that are in part shall be done away. Let us follow the whole Bible. From Genesis to Revelation, in rightly applying the truth to the Jew, to the Gentile, and to the body of Christ, the church. Hope this was a blessing to you, dear friends. Don't be confused. Don't let anyone deceive you. Follow after righteousness. Follow Christ. Follow the book from Genesis to Revelation. And may you grow into maturity into the perfect man in the Lord Jesus Christ. If this video was a blessing, why don't you take a time to share with your friends and your friends if you have not subscribed to us may i request you to please click that subscribe button and stay in connect with us if you have a questions or doubt regarding any bible issues 
please send a message email to us and we will take time to answer your questions god bless you and serve the lord with gladness